So in this problem, we're told to sketch the area represented by g of x. And g of x equals the integral from 1 to x of t squared dt. So let's start with that. So we know that this is going to be an integral, so we're finding the area under the curve, right? So let's think about our function here, d, or t squared. So what is t squared, or the same thing as basically x squared, so what does it look like? Well, it looks like this. And so based off that, we can eliminate these two, because these two right here, because they go under. So these don't even look like the function t squared, so it can't be either of you. Well, let's look at these two. Now the difference between these two is that they both do look like the x squared function or t squared function, but this one has the x. So since this one doesn't have an x, like showing the area under the curve, it's not going to be this one. So the answer to the first part is just going to be this function right here, for this graph. And then let's do the next one. Then find g prime of x in two, two of the following ways. A, by using part one of the fundamental theorem. So basically, we've got to use the fundamental theorem of calculus, which tells us that uh, g prime of x is equal to, or if g of x equals, let me rewrite it, g of x equals uh, the integral from a to x of f of t, dt, then g prime of x, which is what they're asking us for, is going to be equal to uh, f of x. So if f of t is our function, right? So that's what they give us here, it's t squared. So t squared is going to be equal to g prime of x. So basically what we got to do is just replace this with x. So it's going to be equal to x squared. So the answer to the first part a is just going to be equal to x squared. Now let's find it another way. It says by evaluating the integral using part 2, then differentiating. So our integral is um, 1 to x of t squared dt. So what we've got to do is find the antiderivative and then test these values. So the antiderivative of t squared is t cubed over 3, because we add 1 to the exponent, divide by 3, and plus c, but we ignore that. And then we're doing it from 1 to x. So if we do that, we'll start with x, and then we're going to subtract whatever it is at 1. So if we plug in x, it's going to become x cubed over 3. So 1 over 3x cubed minus, and then if we plug in 1, it's going to become 1 cubed, which is 1 over 3, which is just 1 over 3. Well, now we got this, but then it says we got to differentiate. So we have this function here, um, 1 over 3 x cubed minus 1 over 3. If we differentiate, let's differentiate 1 over 3x cubed. So we move the 3 down, it's going to become 3 over 3x and then subtract 1, so x squared. And then 3 over 3 just becomes 1. So it's going to be 1x squared, so x squared. And then minus whatever the derivative of 1 over 3 is, but it's a constant, so a derivative of a constant is just 0. We could minus 0, but it's the same thing as just x squared. So the answer to b is going to be x squared. And so this is going to be how you solve this problem.